We are the Cornell SEG student chapter and we are located in Ithaca, New York. Today we would like to discuss the Earth Source Heat Project. The purpose of this project is to provide Cornell University with geothermal heat to use to heat buildings on campus. This is beneficial because the heat does not need to be converted into energy to be used to heat the buildings. If successful, the Earth Source Heat Project would help the Cornell Ithaca campus to reach carbon neutrality by 2035. The Earth Source Heat Project originated in 2009 as part of Cornell's Climate Action Plan to help achieve the goal of carbon neutrality. Since then, a key number of checkpoints have been achieved as the project has evolved. From 2010 to 2013, three heat maps were revised in partnership with the U.S. Department of Energy. This partnership continued from 2014 to 2017 with the deployment of seismometers to analyze the local reflection grid, complemented by additional subterranean investigation in 2018 and 2019, including the use of a vibrosis truck. In 2020, Cornell faculty hosted a workshop sponsored by the International Continental Drilling Program to design experiments for a 2.5 mile deep exploratory borehole on track for drilling in 2021. Also in 2020, Cornell secured a 7.2 million U.S. Department of Energy grant, which will help with the feasibility analysis of the novel geothermal system. Results regarding feasibility are expected by 2024 with the tentative full implementation of the Earth Source Heat Project set for 2030. First step in the Earth Source Heat Project is to build the Cornell University Borehole Observatory, CUBO. This is an explanatory borehole that will determine if the project is feasible. The borehole will be drilled about 3,000 meters beneath the surface. If the borehole is successful, then construction can continue for the Earth Source Heat Project. Water is expected to move down through the injection mall, get heated by geothermal processes, and then rise to the heat exchanger at the surface. The expected heated temperature is 20 to 80 plus degrees Celsius. This project would reduce the costs associated with heating the buildings on Cornell's Ithaca campus. Additionally, the Earth Source Heat Project will be an example for other locations around the United States and the world to use geothermal as a renewable energy source. An interesting aspect about the project is that Cornell is not located near active tectonic plates or volcanoes. If the Earth Source Heat Project is successful, then other areas that are not located near tectonic plates can potentially use geothermal energy as a source of heat.